Here's the question. Do left-wing activists really believe in free speech? Or are they trying to intimidate opposing viewpoints? With us now is Sansara Taylor, an advisory board member of the anti-Bush group, The World Can't Wait. Sansara, first of all, love the t-shirt. Were all the Che Guevara t-shirts gone, so you had to buy the uh, impeached war criminals one? Is that? I think that people living in this country, yes. at a time when the Bush administration has, yes, legalized Why are torture. you against free speech now? Why are you guys so afraid of Alberto Gonzalez, of all people? Why are you afraid of him speaking? Let's just be clear, you've got to be kidding me. Gonzalez and people who think like him, the Bush administration, their mouthpieces in the media speak yeah. all the time. But they don't just have free speech to advocate torture. They use, mm -hmm. and Gonzalez used the state apparatus to institute torture. This was not just a matter of well, You guys of free don't speech. believe in free speech anymore, right? Because do you anytime think, do you someone, think let's go through the list. Is torture? Let Jim, me ask you, no, no, it's no, like not your show. Well, Jim Gilchrist, so Pat Buchanan. Uh, we're going down the list, okay? You ready? Jim Gilchrist. Pat Buchanan, David Horowitz, Ann Coulter, Bill Crystal, CIA recruiters, military recruiters are routinely, are torture? routinely insulted and intimidated they, on they college are campuses. Are you tonight going to they are come out? A part of are, you, are you going to come out and that say are no? People out of the their segment's going to end now if you don't night. let me finish because this is what, what you do on college campuses. No, Your groups, just wait one second, I'm then you'll have plenty of time I'm to speak. Listening. Groups like yours and you, you appreciate what these students did, these people come to campus because some people want to hear what they have to say. If you want to protest, protest outside, don't interrupt the speeches. It really seems that the left, which, which used to be all for free speech and the ACLU's free speech, everyone gets a say, but when these guys come to campus, you guys can't stand it and you have to make total fools out of yourself and embarrass the, the principled people in the anti-war movement because I think there are some principled people out there. I think it's insulting to them what just happened at that campus. Insulting. I think that if people sit quiet while well, someone who is a part of instituting war crimes and crimes against humanity. History what is going to judge According us. to whom? Mar the Marxist Daily? According to Nuremberg standards. Do you think what uh, is torture? Yeah. Will you answer First that? First of all, is I, I have torture? no idea. You I'm not no an expert idea? in military affairs. You and I don't no think idea? you with your little orange t-shirt are, are pretty orange, much of an expert in anything. Which I advocate anything. other people wear, the color of the Guantanamo What's the, uh, what's the wristband's it's purpose, by the way? Is that to hide something else under there? Is, this, there, is that like laceration by the torture crowd? I'll be very happy to show you what One thing that's amazing is Mahmoud Ahmadinejad it's comes to Colombia and did, did you protest war. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad when he came to Colombia because of what he does to women and minorities in his own country did you protest him? I was him? there on the campus with a big banner and I'm sure you could find footage that said Ahmadinejad is bad did you storm George the Bush stage? Worse. Did you storm the stage? And you know what they're both evil. Are you in favor of storming stages when people who disagree no with you speak? Has, I'm not advocating storming stages. So you're going to denounce that tonight on this show? They peacefully stood That's up. That's peaceful? Did you see that videotape? Are you kidding me? And they demonstrated waterboarding. I applaud, let me tell you this, I applaud a student Will you who's willing to rushing undergo. rushing stages I'm right on this show tonight or no? I'm will you not? I'm the student who underwent So you will not denounce, you will not denounce rushing a stage. Crimes. I denounce people who sit back silent while war crimes and crimes against humanity are being waged in our names. And no, this does not hurt the anti-war movement. You know what oh, hurts really? the anti-war movement? What about the good news coming what, out of Iraq? Are what, you upset about the good news coming out of Iraq? Are you happy about it? Four million people displaced. 600,000 dead. And you cover the New York Times today. Are you, or is that part of the vast? right-wing conspiracy you know in the New York Times. The New York is that Times part of it? Article, it detailed how most people are not able to come home. Of with course the they're not. Surge, the country's at war. It's very surge. difficult. Yes, but, because of but the U.S. Here's my question to you. Here's my question war. to you, Sansara. Yes, are, you, are you able at all to recognize any positive news at all coming out of Iraq? And if so, just tick off the points. I think that when people stand up and resist the crimes of this government. So the answer is no. No good news coming I mean, out of Iraq. That, that's that worth troops, even saying that the troops are carrying clap, out? clap about. No, even be happy as an American. I will not applaud the war crimes being carried out by these troops and in our names. No, I will not applaud that. Do you, do you think the military is filled with honorable, patriotic people who want the best for America, want the best for people across the globe? Or you, you know, really you, don't like the military, you do you? I always want to make it about who is on the ground. I know plenty of soldiers who come back and really? talk about against. I went on tour with some of them who I'm are sure, against the I, war. I'd like you to take this people. little act with that T-shirt to uh, Bagram Air Force Base where Bill O'Reilly just was. See how, see how well you're received with our troops who are actually doing the heavy lifting that protects your who right to make into, a total fool out of yourself, you know, which those kids in Florida did. Who were sent into an illegal war against 
that we're there they being protect your up right to speak fight. out. You should thank them because they actually protect your right to wear the armband, and, and, wear the t-shirt, and go around. Here you are it's admitting that Aren't the rights that Aren't people have in this country rest on the boot that the you're US afraid of. Front you're front afraid of Alberto Gonzalez speaking. Do you, you know how ridiculous something? that is? Do you know how Again, this silly is not, that looks? This is not a free speech issue. This is about war no. crimes and crimes against humanity. And you know how history will judge you. You say I look silly on Fox News, yeah. where you're spinning. Oh okay, yeah, I'm not spinning. I said it's very difficult in Iraq, but I am actually able to announce good news. One of the people who justify war crimes and crimes against humanity. You blame your country for everything, and it's got to end. Country to stand, stand up, up for your country. To stand You're up not. You're embarrassing yourself. Next, yes, Jerry Thompson.